Fegana presence. Water. Programmed by John Ferguson Aditi. What is water? Water is a product or compound of oxygen and hydrogen, with a chemical formula, H2O. Water covers about 70% of the Earth's surface. Water is also present in the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. Pure water is an odorless, tasteless liquid. It has a which may be detected only in considerable depth. What are the two main sources of water? The two main sources of water are 1. Surface water, found on the surface of the earth. For example, rain water, rivers, streams, lakes, sea, ponds, lagoons, etc. 2. Underground water, a pool of water found below the earth. Examples, well water and spring. What is the composition of water? Natural water consists of dissolved and suspended substances. The dissolved substances are present in water, because water is able to dissolve most gases, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and solid substances such as chlorides of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. The dissolved and suspended substances in water, are also referred to as impurities. Therefore the components of water include the following. 1. Dissolved substances such as oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfates of chloride and bicarbonates of sodium and potassium. 2. Suspended materials such as living organisms, soil particles, germs, sewage, industrial waste, etc. Sources of water Rain water This is the purest form of natural water. While coming down through the air, the first showers collect dust particles, germs and bacteria which are present in the atmosphere, but subsequent showers are free from these impurities. However, small amounts of gases such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, may dissolve in the rain water. Rivers and streams. The water in rivers and streams comes from rain and the melting of snow on mountains. Rain water flows down the hills and then enters directly into rivers and streams. On its way it dissolves soluble salts such as magnesium sulfate, sodium chloride and ammonium salts. River water and streams may contain impurities such as dead plants and animals, plant leaves, silt, branches of plants and harmful bacteria and fungi. Sea water. Streams and rivers flow into the sea. Therefore, the seas are the largest reservoir of natural waters. Sea water is the most impure form of water. It contains a large percentage of dissolved salts such as concentrated sodium chloride. As a result of the presence of sodium chloride, Seawater is called saline water, and is salty to taste. Underground water. Part of rain water goes into the earth until it meets hard rocks. At that point the water cannot go below the hard rocks. Here, it accumulates to form a pool of water. This pool of water is called underground water. Underground water is free from suspended impurities because it is filtered by nature, as it passes through several layers of the soil. However, it may contain soluble salts of calcium and magnesium. What are the two types of groundwater? The two types of underground water are 
1. Well water. 2. Spring water. Well water. When the earth's surface is dug deep, water reservoirs are found above the hard rocks. The depth of a well varies from place to place. The well water contains soluble or dissolved salts. Note. Usually the water of a deep well is purer than that of a shallow well. Boreholes are one form of wells. Spring water. This underground water rushes out and flows from the ground. Spring water also contains dissolved salts and minerals but is free from suspended impurities. The order of contamination of natural water. Rainwater collected directly from the sky is the purest source and form of natural water. Underground water is less contaminated than streams and rivers. Seawater contains large amounts of dissolved industrial waste, or chemicals and microorganisms. The sea is the most contaminated natural source of water. Arranging the sources of water in the order of increasing contamination we have. Rain, borehole, or deep well, well, or shallow well, spring, river, or stream, lake, sea. Note. Because water from different sources contain impurities which are harmful to humans, water from different sources is not good for human use. Experiment to show that water from a pond contains impurities. 1. A sample of water from a pond is poured into a funnel, which has a filter paper placed in it. 2. The water drains through the filter paper and funnel into a beaker placed under the funnel. 3. A hand lens is used to observe all the impurities left on the filter paper. Observation. Several impurities are observed on the filter paper. Conclusion. Water from a pond contains impurities and germs that are harmful to humans. What are the physical properties of water? 1. Water is a colorless, tasteless, odorless, and transparent liquid. 2. Water exists in three forms, solid, ice, liquid, water, and gas, water vapor and steam, at room temperature. 3. Water freezes into ice at 0 degrees Celsius of standard atmospheric pressure, 760 millimeters of mercury, but soluble impurities lower the freezing point. 4. Water boils into steam at 100 degrees Celsius of standard atmospheric pressure, 760 millimeters of mercury, but soluble impurities raise the boiling point. 5. The density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cubed at 4 degrees Celsius. 6. Water can dissolve most substances that is, water is a universal solvent. Experiment to show that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. The apparatus, items needed for this activity, are set up as shown in the figure below. 1. Some water is poured into the boiling tube. 2. A laboratory thermometer is inserted into the water. 3. The water is heated, until it boils. 4. It would be observed, that the mercury rises in the thermometer as heating continues. The mercury would stop rising after some time, and remain constant at the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. This shows that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Purification of water what is water purification? 
Water purification refers to all the processes by which impure water can be made pure or clean, for domestic and industrial use. As learned earlier, water from various natural sources contain impurities. Therefore there is the need to purify water from various natural sources, in order to make it safe for human use. List the possible methods used for purifying water. 1. Boiling. 2. Filtering. 3. Distilling. 4. Addition of alum. 5. Addition of chlorine, chlorination. 6. Sedimentation. Boiling. Impure water is heated until it boils to kill microorganisms or germs, and to get rid of poisonous gases that may be present in the water. The water is allowed to cool and then used for domestic purposes such as bathing, washing and cleaning of items. Filtering. The impure water is poured into a funnel, which has a filter paper, placed in it. The water drains through the filter paper and funnel into a beaker placed under the funnel. The water in the beaker is free of impurities and so can be used for washing clothes, cleaning items and bathing. Distilling. The impure water is heated until it boils. The vapor is passed through a condenser for it to condense. The water collected is free of impurities and so can be used for cooking, washing, bathing and drinking. Addition of alum. Alum is added to water in order to bring all smaller or fine particles together to form larger particles, which can settle at the bottom of a containing vessel. The process of making small particles stick together to form larger ones, is termed coagulation. Addition of chlorine or chlorination. Chlorine gas, is added to impure water or passed through impure water, to kill all germs or microorganisms present, in the water. The process is called chlorination. What is chlorination? Chlorination is a method of purifying water, that is to be used by a huge community or town. Note. It is not safe to add chlorine to water for small-scale treatment, because too much of it can be poisonous to humans. Sedimentation. The water is allowed to stand for some time, so that suspended particles or impurities can settle at the bottom of the containing vessel. The clear portion of the water is carefully and gently poured out into a clean container. This process of pouring out the clear water leaving the particles behind is called decantation. Comparison of boiling, filtration, distillation and addition of chlorine to water. 